Brian Bodland died Thursday after taking off with his balloon, which was carrying for passengers, from his privately owned post mill airport in the Vermont town of Thetford. McMurphy, a balloon pilot and past president of the Balloon Federation of America, from Bethlehem, Connecticut, said he'd known Bodland since the mid 1980s. Beyond the artistic, Bodland, who had over 11,000 hours of experience piloting balloons, was a forerunner of experimental lighter than air balloon building. The guy was a legend in his own time, said Scott Wright, the owner of the Silver Maple Lodge in nearby Fairley who worked with Botland offering packages of stays at his lodge and flights in Botland's balloons. Wright, who called Botland one of the top balloon pilots in the world said Bodland came to Vermont in the late 1980s so he could buy the post mill airport. In a 2017 nomination for the United States Ballooning Hall of Fame, Murphy wrote that Bodland's museum includes antique chase vehicles, ballooning paraphernalia, and more than 200 balloons and airships.